here is a case where I am going to move the molars with the 3D control. So I have already set up the case with um, just premolar to premolar movement only. Um, and now that I've moved premolar to premolar, and I can see that these, mol these premolars look much more buckle than the molars do, I'm going to check uh, her buckle plate. And, and there's no exact uh, number unless you're looking at a CT, but based on these curvatures, I think she has enough room uh, to expand or procline through the molars. Um, her upper molars are already upright, so those would be technically expanded. Um, and so this molar already has the expansion support attachment. I'm going to ask for the same thing on um, the other molar. Um, the lower molars, because they are more, um, or this single lower molar, this is going to be tipping more than anything and it's going to be uprighting. I don't need any other attachment. So um, I already have everything set up and then here is the only way that I do this. So I make sure that I have just the buckle tipping um, <clears throat> Uh, movement planned in and then I will add the occlusal tab and then as I've said putting these into a heavy occlusal position uh, is what I'm looking for or does not surprise me um, and I'm actually really looking for that especially because um, I'll I think this upper molar needs to be expanded buckle I actually um, don't often add buckle tipping to the molar since I think that's going to happen on its own. Um, and I will just do this until it looks like it's uh, in a good arch position. I'll take the uh, 3D, the occlusal tab off just so I can review how that looks. Um, it looks still a little tight uh, against like these buckle cusps look a little tight. So I'm just going to do a little bit more expansion. And one of the downsides of that is I lost that heavy occlusion. So um, that is not a really bad thing. I'm just going to tip that one more time and then just if I can get just any little bit of heavier occlusal contact I feel more comfortable that I'm not going to finish with a posterior open bite. Uh, we have an advantage on the left side molar that there is not an opposing uh, so then I can just uh, control the expansion to just whatever looks to fit within the arch and we submit from there. Um, and then I will also make sure that I have commented to stage the movements uh, so that these molar movements are more predictable and we'll go through those uh, aligners at a very uh, fairly quick pace. Uh, so I hope that helps.